Hello and welcome Zamora Gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here and we are continuing our Through the Regions Nuzlocke. And thank you geeks for joining and following. Thank you for the support. Geeks click. How are y'all doing tonight? How's everyone doing? Hey dude, how's it going? Um, so if y'all were watching last week, um, we finished up our uh, Fire Red playthrough. Uh, doing our Nuzlocke Through the Region. Oh, sorry. I need to reset that. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and start in the next region. Um, I was going to do... Uh, I was going to do Hard Gold Soul Silver, but that means I'd have to switch to the DS emulator. And I wanted to stick with the same format on the layout for now. So I figured might as well go through Hoenn next. And then uh, when I make the, 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 DS, the, the DS layouts, it'll just be an easy transition from Hard Gold Soul Silver to... Uh, platinum so that's pretty much what we're doing here so basically the through the regions if you haven't been watching uh past videos are up on youtube uh it'll all be in the same playlist uh through the regions but um basically what we're doing here is we're playing from gen 1 to gen 8 and uh we're using our partner pokemon uh, charmander through each region but it's also Nuzlocke format, so I mean that's our one gift Pokemon each uh, each region now, since uh, we don't normally get it as a starter. So we'll be able to get our starter plus a Charmander to start the games. Um, since this is emulator, uh, I'm gonna do the Game Shark uh, the Game Shark glitch to get a Wild Charmander to spawn. I tested it, it works, but it does restart the game every now and then. So, yeah, if, if you see the game glitching out like that, that's why. I mean, it's just a cheat code. But, um, I did, I did, a uh, what do you call it? So, I'm able to randomize games, but I didn't want to randomize the Through the Regions playthrough. Because, you know, it's its own, it's its own thing. But I went ahead and, um, unlike the Fire Red, Leaf Green... Uh, I did at least update the parts where um, we can evolve untra like tradable Pokemon. We can, since we can't trade, we can evolve uh, Pokemon like Alakazam and Gengar, and you know, mods of that nature. And uh, the thing also to give us the National Dex right off the bat, so Charmander is actually uh, usable through the game to evolve and such. And also uh, running inside and fastest text and all that other fun stuff that's always good for <laughs> playing through these games on the emulator. But of course we got to get the running shoes first. And this one I'm definitely going to try not to uh, use a speed up button hardly at all. Because uh, I don't know I just feel like this game's shorter than Fire Red Leaf Green. But we are playing the Emerald version too, so I mean, we're gonna have our speed up moments, of course, because there's a lot of battles that we have to get through. But I appreciate everyone for coming out, showing that support, and as you can see, we are getting to the sequence to where we can actually get our first Pokemon and proceed with the story. But yeah, guys, um, again, if you haven't watched the uh, the past playthrough of Fire Red Leaf Green, uh, we made it all the way to the champion. I believe we lost Charmander to Bruno. I mean Charizard to Bruno. But uh, being as we didn't lose our whole team, we still succeeded in that Nuzlocke and Charmander was on the team. But um, I'm going to go ahead and choose Trico since we're going to get our fire type anyway. So Trico is going to be on our team. <laughs> Yeah, it is funny seeing him get chased by the uh, Zigzagoon. Or is it Poochiana? I think it depends on the game. But yeah, he does get chased around. And it looks silly him running around in a big ass square. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, I appreciate the support coming out and watching. And again, everyone else, uh, if you're watching on YouTube after the fact, uh, go ahead and join me on Twitch. Zamora Gaming 43. The link should be in the description below. And uh, if you're watching on Twitch, 
and you uh, can only watch part of the stream uh, you can always watch it a little bit later on Twitch but eventually it gets off of it and you'll have to watch it on YouTube but it's the more gaming on YouTube easy to find all right so we are here we're gonna get our Trico and we're gonna go ahead and nickname it geek click what do you think we should nickname this thing I'll give it a minute since I know the stream's a little behind when I ask questions Sticks. All right, sticks it is. So, Geek, how'd you figure out, uh, how'd you find the channel? You, you get it through uh, PML? Or you just happen to be passing through? All right, so he's telling us to go see May. We definitely will do that. So we can go ahead and get our Pokeballs soon after. Oh, that's awesome, man. Well, I'm glad you're able to come out. All right. So we got to beat May before we got our running shoes, which sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Gen 3 game. I like in the new games when you just get it right off the bat. But I'm going to skip through this uh, little battle. Oh, you're Yanni. Oh, okay. Welcome, Yanni. And then we're going to go ahead and kill this thing real quick. Get us some EXP before that battle. Alright, so since we picked Trico, she should have Mudkip. Which is not bad. I mean, not good for us uh, later when we have our Charmander on the squad. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. And we should be able to beat... Uh, Oh, wait, she has Charmander. What? She has a Charmander? Oh, I think I edited the starter, too. Because I wasn't sure if the thing would work. But it did. I guess I never changed it back to Trico. So I guess she will be having a Charmander throughout the story. Oh, that's a very interesting thing. But let's go ahead and try to get this first win here. Of course, if you don't know yet, let me go ahead and explain it. Nuzlocke rules. So, we get the special rule of getting a Charmander for free. Uh, Nuzlocke does not, does not start until we get Pokeballs. So, obviously, right there, it doesn't count, but we still got a beater, of course. Man, that sucks. We're a level up, too. Must be a good nature for her. Here, let's go ahead and try to get another level. All right. Give me one more level. <laughs> Is that Charmander tough? Alright, so I was explaining the Nuzlocke rules. Um, we get the special rule. We get our Charmander, of course. Then, um, rule number one, we got to nickname all our Pokemon. We got to get that... Uh, we got to get that relationship going with our Pokemon. So, if we lose them, it actually hurts us. Um, second, you must catch the first Pokemon on a wild route. So, and you can only catch one Pokemon per route. So if it's not the first Pokemon, you can't catch it. So if you feign it, you run it, whatever, you can't catch that Pokemon again. All right, here we go again with the rival battle. Oh, I'm definitely going to try to kill a Charmander this time. <laughs> But it seems like uh, we do not have a very good attacking nature physically, at least. We had to be two levels above. And then that uh, growling helped in our case at all. And then uh, thirdly, which is the most important rule of Nuzlocke's, is if a Pokemon faints, you are no longer able to use it. It's considered dead. You got to bury it at the Lavender Town Castle, and it's done for. You can't use it no more. There we go. And that that's pretty much it. Those are the three big rules. And then we get our special rule of getting a Charmander as well. I mean, in this game, we still got to catch it. So that's no fun. But uh, we'll, we'll make it work. <laughs> All 
All right, so we're about to go get our Pokeballs here. Okay, so she he gave me the National Dex, I believe. Okay, let's exit out. Let's go ahead and check out our Pokemon here. All right, so we got sticks. And it has quirky nature. So it's a neutral nature. Now, of course, we met it on the first route because you don't get it in the hometown. And then mom finally gives us the running shoes, which we should have been born with already. But I guess we can't run unless we got them Air Jordans, I see. Let's go ahead and heal up and let's see if we can catch our first Pokemon here. All right, so our first encounter is going to be a Poochiana. So go ahead and get me those nicknames in the chat to see uh, what Pokemon, what nickname this Pokemon will have. All right, so I think we could hit it two more times and it should be good to catch. Oh, one more time. That's fine. All right, now we're going to throw a Pokeball here, and we're going to buy a lot more because we got to get ourselves our Charmander. Hey, Skipper works. I don't see anyone else coming up with anything. But welcome all to the stream. Go ahead and leave a hi in the chat so I can say hi back. And if you ain't following yet, go ahead and follow to show that support. All right, so as of right now, Skipper's going to be the nickname of our Poochiana. Also, guys, if the music is too loud or my voice isn't loud enough, let me know, and I'll try to adjust as much as possible. So, Skipper it is. Skipper. All right. He ain't the leader of the team, but he is Skipper. That's for sure. So we'll have to come back, activate the cheat code to get our Charmander. And then once we get the Charmander, we'll deactivate it. But so far, so good. We got our first encounter. Let's go ahead and buy. Man, I wish we didn't. I wish we had more money to start this game. I feel like you get no money to start. Well, let's go ahead and get our encounters. So we're going to save here because, like I said, once you put in the cheat code, it glitches the game out a little bit. And they'll keep making it restart. I hope he whoops ass. That's the goal. But sadly, all it, in this generation, all his moves that are dark are special, so... We got to feed off that, and this special set ain't that great. But we're going to make it work. Okay. We activated the cheat code. Now let's go ahead and see what we get. Okay, Wurmple, we're going to run. Poochiana, run. Another Poochiana. So we're just going to be running around. They did a lot of Pokemon wrong. Like, uh, they made uh, Ghost-type moves physical. And it's like, in Fire Red, Leaf Green, uh, Gengar has, like, finally gets Shadow Ball, and it has to rely on its physical attack. It's like, come on, man. How are you going to do that? All right, so Wurmple's out again. Wurmple, we don't need you. We need the Charmander. All right, so let's just keep on running around and see how it goes. Yeah, a physical ghost. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense because of Shuppet. But, and that's when the, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know why they made a uh, ghost physical and dark special. I think they made a mistake there. But, you know, Pokemon has their reasons. All I know is I need this Charmander already. All 
Oh, there we go. Glitch the game out. So we're going to go ahead and reset. Hopefully that didn't corrupt the file. Okay. Lucky for us. But hopefully we can get our Charmander now quicker. Alright guys, what is y'all's favorite Pokemon of Gen 3? Get them in the chat. Oh, there we go. Start again. For me, I will have to say, I don't know. It's There's a lot of them in Gen 3. No, it's not going to glitch for the rest of the game. It's just going to glitch until I catch Charmander. And then uh, when I turn off the uh, cheat, it's not going to glitch anymore. Or at least to my knowledge, I that's, I, I tested it as, as far as that. And uh, I turned off the cheat code and ran around more, and it stopped doing it. So I'm hoping it doesn't glitch after that, but we definitely need this Charmander. It's, it's not wanting to come out. I was finding them left and right when I was testing. But now that we're on stream, of course, it doesn't want to pop out. All right. I'll try not to use the speed up button. I guess that triggers it more. Come on, man. Give me the Charmander. And it's not a specific spot either. There we go. It says Wormpool, though. I hope it's not going to be a Wormpool when we catch it. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and start throwing some Pokeballs at this thing. And again, hopefully it's not a Wormpool when we catch it. Oh, you like Grumpig? Oh, that was... That was actually one of the coolest mods I thought in the new generation of uh, Gen 3 when it came out. I actually liked it. I hardly used it. I got to use it uh, when I was doing a personal Nuzlocke. And it was actually a really good mod to use. It was bulky. And it hit like a tank. But, um, yeah, other than that, uh, I really... Of course, who doesn't like the pseudo-legends? But... If I had to choose a favorite Pokemon from Gen 3, in general, uh, oh, we got our Charmander. And we're going to go ahead and name it uh, not to. Oh, no, don't tell me it glitched. Ah, we finally get our Charmander and it glitches out. Oh, looks like we had to catch another one. Come on, game. Just give it to me. It worked earlier. I had I had two Charmanders. Man, I keep not finishing my sentence about who I like. Um, Trico's my favorite starter of the generation. Just uh, based off how it looks. It's just an amazing Pokemon. And then a uh, non-starter... Obviously, it would be the pseudo uh, Metagross. And um, not starter and not pseudo, it'd be Aggron. Uh, I think Aggron was like one of the first Pokemon in Generation 3. I got to level 100. So, I love that Pokemon. It Sadly, it has so many weaknesses, but in that game, it didn't matter. I was just wrecking through everything. Stay in the ball. Uh, that's one of the first still type Pokemon I actually named Iron Man too. No, this game does not want me to have this Charmander. Oh yeah. And then when, uh, Mega Aggron came out, oh my gosh, I did everything I could to use that thing. That thing was awesome. Filter ability, uh, it's pure steel type. And then, um the defense stat oh gosh that thing was a freaking monster 
Come on, Charmander. Well, sorry, guys. It's taking forever. It, I did it, like I said, in testing, and it it worked out fine. I caught it on, like, the first try. But, you know, when you're streaming it, of course, nothing goes right. And then the one we did catch, it glitched the game. Oh, here we go. Again. Just give me the Pokemon. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, we're just going to take it slow. I'm not going to push the uh, speed up button anymore. <clears throat> um another Pokémon I really liked in Gen 3 was Sableye. I would I would purposely go all the way back in the game and go catch one in the dark area of the cave. Oh, I wasn't even pushing speed up at that point, but okay. Give me that Charmander. Come on. There we go. Here we go. Don't mess up, please. All right, so we got a pound again. Looks like we go for one more. All right, now we're going to go ahead and catch it. Stay in the ball. Yeah, it actually says Charmander this time too, so hopefully that means it won't glitch out the system. But um, we're going to go ahead and nickname our Charmander Natsu from the first playthrough. We're going to carry that name on throughout the regions as well. So Natsu the Charmander. Yeah, he doesn't seem to want to stay in the ball either. Good thing we got like 11 more. Jeez, not even shaking. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Say it with me. Stay in the ball. Jesus Christ. We're going to use all our Pokemon. Oh, fuck you. Well, now we got to do it again. That is annoying. If you just stayed in the ball long enough for me to save the game and then reset, we would have been fine. But this Charmander does not want to stay. Now we got to find another one. Oh boy, here we go. And it's an emulator, so it's not like I could pass it on through the, like, hatch an egg and pass on a Charmander like I, I was doing on my own. So, oh well, here we go. Alright, this one's a Poochiana Charmander, but hopefully it'll still work. Don't want to pound it again, because then it would have killed. You know what? That's fine. I'm just going to start throwing the Pokeballs before it glitches out again. Come on, Charmander. Oh, my gosh. Stay in the ball, please. Oh my gosh. You shook. Just stay. Don't you want to be my friend? Does do you not want to have the name Natsu and win a, win the Pokemon League? <laughs> Are you kidding me with this game? All right. Uh that's getting annoying. Oh, first try. First try. Okay. Now hit it one more time. No! It would hit right over. It would get a high roll on the second hit. Okay, here we go. Charmander, your actual Charmander. Here we go. We're two for two on this one. We got lucky. Now, if we can just get it in the ball. Uh... 
Okay, scratch, that's fine. Attack me all you want. Just let me get some damage and don't glitch the game. I, it better stay. I'm about to fling my controller across the wall. All right, it's good. Now I'm going to throw Pokeballs. Stay in the ball. That's all you got to do. It's not that hard. Just relax. Relax. Stay in the ball. Stay in your home. Do you not want to go to your home? Oh, three shake. Three shake break as uh, the curse of me. Oh, come on. Again with the three shake break. It's just haunting us at this point. Stay in the ball. That's all he got to do, please. Oh. Uh, I don't know. This thing don't want to stay. I don't know what it is. Oh, now it's not even staying. Come on. Stay in the ball. I only got eight more. I can't afford to just use them all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I thought that was it. Thank you. All right. Don't glitch the game. I'm not going to nickname it or nothing. I'm just going to catch it. Okay. Save the game. We did it. All right. Now I'm going to deactivate the cheat. So it can stop doing that. And we should be good. It might glitch one more time, but we got ourselves a Charmander and we're saved. So there we go. Yeah, that should be the last time it does it because that uh, cheat's not active anymore. Okay. Woo. That was a lot of work. But we get our quirky Charmander. We have a, oh, look, a modest nature skipper. That's actually really good for our dark type moves. And then we have a quirky Trico. So, his nickname is Natsu. We'll just fix it later. And has no good moves yet, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and finally heal up. And go ahead and try to get our other encounters. And then, uh, sw uh, trades, trade, blah, swap, train our Pokemon. There we go. Jesus Christ. I couldn't say anything right there. But let's go ahead and get our first encounter here. And it's a Zigazoon. Zigzagoon. So now we're going to go ahead and get the Absorb. And two more should do it. And then we'll throw another Pokeball. You know what? It might kill. I'm just going to start throwing the Pokeball now. Oh, never mind. Very. Jesus Christ. Pound. All right. Well, grass is special, so it's going to ignore that. And now we can throw a Pokeball for sure this time. All right, nicknames in the chat for this Zigzagoon. And it's caught. Beautiful. So Zigzagoon, the tiny raccoon. Ziggy. Okay, Ziggy it is. Yeah, Ziggy, there we go. 
Ziggy Azalea. Because <laughs> it's a female. All right. Now let's go ahead and train up our uh, Charmander a little bit. We're definitely using that. Um, I'm not sure about the other two yet. But I uh, we'll keep them both on the team for now. For sure. But we're mainly going to train up Charmander and Trico right now. Because EXP is hard to come by in this game. And I'd rather uh, stick to stick to the Pokemon I'm for sure going to use. Before I try to train anyone else up. And then the first gym I believe is level 14 or 15. So we're going to try not to get over that level. We shouldn't need to. And uh, basically, Trico is going to uh, solo that gym. But also, guys, go ahead and leave in the comments your thoughts on my layout. Uh, I, I, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, when I made the layouts, I was uh, going kind of off of what I did with the uh, Soul Link layouts. With the legendary on the side. And I was like, well, there's a perfect amount of legendaries. Especially with uh, Groudon. Uh, Kyogre and Rayquaza and then I was like what could be the fourth Pokemon and Deoxys is just perfect and then you get the red over there and then the blue green on one uh, the other side oh thank you geek I, I think it looks badass too I I mainly like the way the legendaries look on it it, it really pulls everything else together all right after this battle, we should have Charmander at level 3, I think. Oh, no, I guess not. It's going to take a little more EXP than that. All right, so I'm going to rush through this skip. Uh, I'm not going to skip anything, but I'm just kind of grind out this uh, speed swap training. So... If y'all have any questions about anything, uh, go ahead and ask them, guys. Uh, I do do, um, I do do, uh, I do podcasts. I have podcasts on Spotify, Pokey Dippies. Um, we just recently did B Drill that I will be uh, releasing tomorrow. Uh, I do draft leagues, so uh, draft league battles uh, releasing weekly. Uh, somehow I made it to the playoffs in the singles draft and won my first round. Oh, Charmander level 3. I think we're going to try to get it to like level 7 and then move on. So, Sticks is going to be a little over leveled, but that's fine. Um, And also, like, I stream, of course, so you're here watching that. And still doesn't do no damage. Yeah, currently I'm doing the, uh, obviously the PML drafts. Uh, like I said, I'm going to play the undefeated Jesse Dudek in the semi semifinals. And then, uh, depending on who wins out of David and, and Steven, which Steven is the undefeated person on the other division. So either I lose and David loses and the undefeateds go to the championship will be the, which for two reasons um, will be the first time PML has two undefeated teams in the championship. And it also be the first time they have one undefeated team in the championship. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I win and I can prevent that. Regardless, and uh, if either of them win, uh, either of them can be the first uh, undefeated champion of PML. Because we've never had that in the last three years, even in the for fun chat. I mean, we've had it in the the minor leagues, uh, Zach, Zach Jehonet, he, he beat the doubles minor league with no problem. Went an undefeated. But no one's done it in the A-League, so that shows how competitive it gets in the A-League there. I mean, granted, there's people who are undefeated, 
But the last, let's just say the last time I went to the playoffs and I was four and three, I ended up winning the doubles championship. So let's hope I can repeat that. Because <laughs> uh, lately I've been losing a lot in the championships. So I need to try to win one. And Charmander is trying to pull his own a little bit, which is good. And then um, I was uh, offered a spot in uh, SQL. It's called the Side Quest League. And uh, they do doubles. And they have some Ubers in their teams and everything. So I was like, you know what? I might as well dip my toe in other people's doubles drafts to get a feel for it. And here we have our first encounter on this route. I'm going to go ahead and switch to uh, sticks just in case he has water gun. Don't want to take that right off the bat. And then, um, so yeah, I'm actually doing decent in that one. That one's weird though because it's like a best of three. It's not your traditional draft. It's like actual VGC style best of three. So the first game I played, uh, I had no experience with the team at all i just threw something together uh tried to go trick room because the mods they had on that team were weird i mean i did take over zero and three teams so bound to expect it wasn't going to be the best team but uh i went ahead took it on didn't care for it uh, i'm gonna go ahead and name this thing table you know what i'm gonna name it cinco de mayo Mayo. But yeah, I lost that one pretty bad. Uh, he swept me 2 0. And then um, I went ahead and battled the next guy just with the same team because I was like, I don't even like these mons. So if I win, I win. If I lose, it's whatever. I'm switching most of the team anyway. I, I got rid of. Um, Naganadel, Galarian, Slow King, uh, Appleton, and some other mine that was on the team. But I kept pretty much everything else. Uh, the replacements I got were Nido King, um, Aerodactyl, and two other speedy mines, at, le at least bulky, bulky attackers. All right, so we got our first wild trainer battle here that's not a rival and we got a poochiana up against us charmander should burn this thing to a crisp but uh that draft league battle went a lot smoother actually like uh i i went in to go hard trick room turn like turn one and i noticed his team was just as slow or slower than mine so i was like you know what I got to play this a little differently because he, he beat me a 3-0 on the first game. So I was like, all right, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm not going to set Trick Room because his team's slower than mine. So, and it looked like he didn't bring Trick Room on for that reason to trick me into going for my own Trick Room. And it worked on the first battle, but the second battle, not so much. Um, I was able to get some good reads off and... I ended up winning uh, the second match, and then I, the third match was a little, wasn't as smooth. Yeah, the third match wasn't as smooth. I had to uh, endure a lot of, I don't know, I, it was just something about his team I couldn't get around in the third match. I guess he figured me out, my new strategy, but uh, luckily... Um, we had enough. We had enough to pull that game out. And, uh, Celestilla basically stalled out the game for me and won. It wasn't, like, hardcore stall. Like, I wasn't toxic leech seed. I was just leech seed protect. And I was still attacking. I had to take some brutal attacks from a Necrozma Dusk and, uh, Haxorus. So, it wasn't easy, to say the least. But we pulled it out. 
And, um, yeah, man, it was just crazy. But uh, those battles will be up probably tonight or premiering tomorrow and the day after. Because I do have a lot of videos I need to catch up on. All right, so Tello's coming out here, but we're going to stay in with Charmander because we don't want uh, sticks to get hit pretty, ba pretty bad by a peck or something. And then there's two other leagues. Uh, one's the UGL. Um, it's just about to start. I got to get uh, LAN play going, so I had to get an ad adapter on my Switch console to get that battle going so hopefully tomorrow i'll be doing that battle so basically all weekend i'll be having uh draft league battles popping up and if possible i don't know if i can premiere them here on twitch but if i can i will do that as well so it's just up to y'all to depend on where y'all want to watch them but i know they eventually go away here on twitch so no matter what, if y'all want to see them a month from now or whenever, or you just want to watch battle after battle, uh, they all have their own playlists. They're all in order. And if they're not, I will be fixing that for sure. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I got a lot of draft leagues going. And then uh, the CDL, I joined in January and we did like three weeks and honestly, I wasn't doing so hot. I did. I was like, I was one and two. But I mean, I was one and two when I started the PML as well. So, and I turned it around and I'm in the semifinals. But yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things. But we, uh, there was a lot of inactive people in that one. So uh, they, they were just like, all right. So whoever wants to be active uh let me know and we'll start a championships bracket and we'll just do that double elimination and so far so good on that we've been we won our first game and then our opponent that we're about to battle pretty much has the same team we battled him the first time when he beat us but our team is completely new and uh i have mons that i'm a little bit better familiar with so i think i'm a little more confident going in this time around than I was the first time. Oh, I forgot to put O at the end. I'm dumb. It's supposed to be single de Mayo, but it's just single de May. Yeah, guys, sorry if I'm not talking much about this game, but I'm just making progress. Oh, man. All right, let's go ahead, and we can't buy anything. Jeez. No money. No money, gang. Broke as hell, gang. All right, we're going to go ahead and start putting um, sticks up front because Charmander is gaining those levels like crazy. And we're definitely leaving Ziggy on the team because uh, the potion, uh, the the pickup ability is amazing. We can get some TMs maybe, certainly get some items going, especially healing items, which we can't afford right now. So that's exactly what we want to be getting. And um, also, I'm noticing my uh, frame rates are going down a little bit. So sorry about that. If you're having issues, uh, it's most likely the frame rates dropping right now. But uh, it, I'm sure it'll fix itself. Normally does. But all right. I did also put uh, randomize Wally's Wild Encounter. So let's go ahead and see what Pokemon he gets. It. If y'all want, go ahead and leave a guess in the chat. Because we're about to see right now exactly what he's going to catch. Alright guys, y'all ready? I'm about to click it. Let's see what he gets. In 3, 2, 1. Oh. Premature. But there we go. That was in one more second. Oh, he gets a Pelipper! <laughs> I bet no one would have guessed that. He got flying toilet. And apparently Norman has a Clefable. Fitting. Fitting for being the normal gym leader.
All right, now we're gonna watch this Pelipper get caught. And I believe that's what Wally's gonna be using throughout the game, so. No Rolts for you. I'm gonna laugh if he ends up with the Rolts anyway. Alright guys, he did it! He caught his first Pokemon. It is a Pelipper. And that is pretty much it for that. So now Dad's telling us that we're not strong enough to face him yet. So we gotta go beat Roxanne's ass first, and then we can come back. So let's go ahead and go ahead and do that. Go ahead and go ahead and go ahead. <laughs> I said that like four times. Excuse me, let me guess. From the way you're dressed, and you're a Pokemon trainer? Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer, or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the lands in search of talent trainers. I'm sorry, you two have taken your time. Well, I guess he is not interested in what we have to offer. Alright, she's basically saying don't battle if you don't want to. Uh, there's an item over here somewhere. I think it's just a heart, scare, heart skill, though. But screw it. Let's go ahead and get our battle on. And this battle, we definitely got to be uh, very careful with. Because um, that C dot has a bide. And if you don't knock it out in two turns, it's definitely going to knock you out. So Zigzagoon's taking damage. And we'll take it down no problem. Down goes Zigzagoon. Alright, now C dot's definitely coming in. Let's go ahead and go to Charmander here. Now, I think Bite has priority. But uh, we're going to go ahead and go for the Ember here. If he did go for Bite, it doesn't matter because we got a crit. Down goes CDOT. So Charmander is getting that nice EXP. Now, where is that? There you go. Hard skill. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and fight this guy. We need more water type battlers. So Trico can bulk up. No pun intended. Alright, let's go ahead and take out these magic cards with an absorb. So we can move on to our next encounter. All right, so Magikarp finally goes down. Styx is not quite level 10 yet, but we're getting there. Now let's go ahead and see what our next encounter is. Route 103, what you got for me? Oh, wait, no, this is like Route 104, right? But it is a Wurmple, so endless possibilities there. Well, at least two possibilities. <laughs> Okay, we get it, but not quite knock it out. So beautiful. Perfectly in the red. We can start throwing Pokeballs now. Alright, Pokeball is there. Stay in the ball. Alright, so Wurmple is caught. Now let's go ahead and see what we're going to name it. Let's go ahead and name it. Uh, Dartworm. 
I don't know why. Just, just do it. Well, I know why. He has a big old horn on the front of his face. I bet if you threw him, he'd stick to a dartboard. But let's go ahead and challenge... Oh, let's get these berries. Let's go ahead and challenge this lady so we can get some money. Let's go ahead and go for the absorb. Nice special attack. Get that health back at the same time. Okay. So Zigzagoon doesn't do much, which is good. All right, no one wants to see two more tackles. But we get our level 10, and we get our uh, money for winning. And, of course, let's go ahead and get some more Pokeballs. We don't really need healing items as bad in uh, this generation as we did in Fire Red Leaf Green because we got berries to heal up our status elements and stuff. And we got an abundance of it. I mean, if we need to, we can grow it. So, not not much need for antidotes and uh, paralyzed heals and things like that. All right, let's go around to avoid the grass and get our first encounter in the forest. Encounters are so exciting at the beginning of the game. All right, what do we get? Nope, we already have a Wurmple. Get out of here, Wurmple. All right, so there, if you didn't know, there's a potion. Then you come around here, get the Pokeball. So that's another Pokeball for our pocket. And she doesn't say nothing. She just said, don't be a thief. And he should give us something, I believe. Nope, nothing. All right, let's go ahead, and I guess we encounter the bug catcher first. All right, bug catcher Lyle sent out Wormple. And these are pretty low levels, so I'm not going to make y'all painfully watch that. And we're sh we're sh we should get to level 11 by the end of this battle. So one step closer to get into our evolution form. And now let's see what our encounter is. Oh, it's a silk, a cascoon. Um, I'm gonna catch it for now. But uh, just note that if our Wurmple evolves into cascoon, uh, I will be coming back to catch a different encounter, because then it'd be considered dupe claws after that. At that point. All right, and so we don't crit it, let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball. Oh, man, I forgot to buy Pokeballs. Nah, we should be fine. Easy capture. And we're going to nickname you Spike. <laughs> you got spikes on your, on your thing. All right, so we go ahead and get our Paralyzed Heal. And then bring it around town. Hmm, not one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. I mean, I love that Pokemon too, but I ain't seen it. And if I did, it'd be mine. But as you can see... We officially have our first member of Team Aqua, uh, Team Aqua here, and we got to defend this professor from getting robbed. All right, so Poochiana goes ahead and comes out here as we go for the quick attack. Does a decent chunk, but not as much as I would hope. Let's see if Absorb does better. Oh, definitely better. Hopefully the next one takes it out, too. And it does just enough. 
Beautiful. Alrighty, guys. I just want to let everyone know I have been up really long today. So I will be doing only a two-hour stream. So we are halfway through. Want to go ahead and promote myself real quick as we defeat this Team Waka Grunt. Again, Pokey Dippies on Spotify, uh, YouTube, Zamora Gaming has everything you need uh, for post stream viewing. And then uh, PML group on Facebook is where you can find me. I'm the head admin there. I'm always doing stuff. We got giveaways. We got uh, tournaments, draft leagues, gyms, E4, prizes and giveaways. So anything you might need, it is there. We're going to go ahead and run from this Silcoon, though. And we get another Pokeball. So beautiful on that on that front. And uh, this Pokemon is actually half ground. So our Grass-type moves are neutral. So we're good there. Especially since we didn't leave Charmander there. Because it does get Mud Slap. All right, so we're getting more berries, so we have healing items. At least that's why I'm doing it. And then we get more free Pokeballs. And um, this is considered the same route as the one before the forest, just like in Fire Red Leaf Green. So we're not going to be catching anything here. But we're getting items. All right, so we got Rich Boy here. And he's got a Zigzagoon to bring out against us. Styx is going to take the field, and we're going to absorb this thing to death. Also, guys, do not forget to drink plenty of water. Drinking plenty of water is a good way to help you keep your balanced diet. It's just healthier. It's just healthy for you, I should say. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time, but all I know is drink water, it's good for you. Alright, so now we have this lady to battle. We got Lass Haley. And she's got the low Ted. I'm sure she's got water gun, so I'm not going to switch in uh, here. We're just going to go ahead and quick attack it to death. Two does enough, I think. Even after growl, maybe. We did do a big chunk there. Oh, not enough. Okay, so now we got Shroomish coming out. We're going to go ahead and go to Charmander here to deal with that grass Pokemon. All right, Shroomish, you're about to meet your doom. The power within. The power within. And Charmander gets to level 11 here. Good chunk of EXP. Alright, so we got about two more encounters with trainers. And then we'll be done. We'll be out of here. Well, out of the route anyway. <laughs> we still got a gym to take care of before we get out of here. But we're going to go ahead and take care of that C dot for sure. Low Tad gets down below half. And C dot doesn't hang on without the crit. It's over. It's over for that thing. I mean, we almost double the H uh, EXP in levels, but you never know. All right, so Sticks gets to level thirteen. Charmander gets to not level thirteen. And we have one more battle on this route. one more battle to take care of here and let's see what he has in store for us i'm sure just a bunch of magic harps because it's an early route fisherman so let's go ahead and absorb here without a doubt without a problem magic harps goes down Right, guys, I cannot wait for next week. I'll be catching a bunch of magic carps. I'll be going to fish and have a good time. 
Drinking and fishing are two of the best things to do. As long as you're old enough. <laughs> Underage, don't do that. Just fish. And always catch and release unless you're going to eat what you kill. That's a very important lesson. You don't want uh, Magikarps to go extinct, so. Here we go. I got $280. Two Lepa Berries that does uh, 10 PP. Per move. And then Cherry Berries to help with their paralysis problems. Cherry berries help if something, something. I was going to make a whole rhyme and I just forgot it as soon as I was starting to say it. Hook her up for a cherry berry if you're paralysis prone. All right, we got that X defend and now we are on our way over here. So, most people forget, but don't forget because you need this here in the future we get cut all right and he gives us the cut hm beautiful and no problem all right we're gonna heal up here Making my way downtown, walking fast, running past this bitch, yeah. Da -na 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 -na. Exploring a cave isn't like walking on a road. You never know what wild Pokemon will appear. It's full of suspense. I can tell you nine times out of ten, it's a zoo bet. And another super potion goes to us. And let's go ahead and catch our next encounter on the route over here um i do have my own personal claws uh y'all don't have to use this but it is very possible and highly likely to catch a uh a whismer on the route but i always say um the cave you can only catch whismer so if you you can't catch the whismer outside of the cage you can get a different encounter that way it's a little more fair. You don't have to be like, oh, I'm locked in the cave and I already caught a Wismer out here. Can't do nothing about that. So, easy way to get around that. All right, time to put Charmander up front again so it can start uh, earning its stripes again. All right, Wurmple goes down no problem, and so does Ninkata. And we're level 12. But we do get a repel. And now we got to deal with this girl. She looks like a fighter. Oh, no. She's a school kid. Weird overall sprite. But she leads off with the Shroomish, so that's no problem for Charmander. Oh, wow, it lived, but it got burned. So far, so lucky there. We get stun spored, but we're just going to go for the attack here and heal it off after battle. Oh, and the full para right off the bat. No bueno for us. Is it again? Jesus. I'm in shock. I lost. Of course you're in shock. All right. Let's go ahead and put a paralyzed heal on this Pokemon. All right. Potion. <clears throat> and um, 
Okay, let's let's make it through. I know there's no items here. I mean, every time I've checked, uh, I haven't found anything. But our first encounter here is a Taylo. All right, time to time to catch this thing. I didn't buy Pokeballs like a dummy. But let's go ahead and see if we catch it. Nope, not there. Stay in the ball. Yes! Took us a great ball, but we caught it. Alright, your nickname is going to be T-Swizzle. Taylor Swift. Alright, so T-Swizzle, you're on the team. Still yet to be decided if you'll be used. But you're definitely on the team. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go for the Absorb on Geodude, and we're going to go for the Ember on Shroomish. We should get KOs by both. Geodude goes down no problem, sticks gains a level, and let's go ahead and see what Charmander does here. Oh, Smokescreen. Okay, so low tad's coming out, and it's a 2v1, so very easy for us. Come on over, low tad. Get knocked out by my powerful Pokemans. All right, so gas, gas, uh, losing mind and travel. All right, work our way around that. No problem at all. Got to make copies. Got to make copies. Everyone's got to do that. I don't know why I said that. Got to make copies thing. I'm losing my mind here. Um, We do got to go get Pokeballs, though. So whatever we run into here, obviously, Wismer is not going to count. Oh, that would suck to feel shiny, though, huh? Oh, piece of candy. Okay, so again, we're not worried about this encounter. And I, oh, it's after the gym when you got to deal with that guy. Ah, oh, I'm way ahead of myself. Oh, here we go. One more trainer. Okay, time to make our way all the way back to the city. Oh. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get past that first, uh, that big first hurdle, the gym leader. Just gonna quick absorb. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the absorb here. Wish we had um. Wish we had something else to take care of that. But here we go. We're gonna ember on the other one. Hopefully no rock throw. That'd be nice. Or even a burn would be nice. Down goes that Geo dude, no problem. And then lastly but not leastly, we got these guys to deal with. 
So obviously Absorb's gonna knock this one out. I know I said I wouldn't use the uh, speed up that much, but these battles are kind of dragging. And the last Geo dude goes down. Oh, oh, we got an evolution. And definitely gonna switch, uh, gonna switch pound for pursuit. Give me that leaf blade right now. I'll take it. So here we go. We got the we got we got uh evolution on the screen. Trico is evolving. Trico is evolving. Trico is evolving. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got a Grovile. You awkward teenage lovable bastard. He wants his stick. Oh, yeah. Switch that. Um. Well, I guess I don't need it because uh, we have a dark type move. Oh, <laughs> ran into a roadblock there. But let's go ahead and take a look at the gym. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we're in a good position already because I'm ready to challenge this gym. Get our first gym out of the way. And then we're going to knock out like two more. And then we'll knock out three back to back. There'll be a little bit of story. Eh, we'll see. Well, let me go ahead and look this up real quick. Oh, man, I forgot to tweet my stream. Oh, well. Um, Let's see. Emerald. Gym leaders. Okay, highest level is 15. So I'm cool with that. Let's go ahead and take on this gym. I'm Roxanne, the leader of the Rustboro Gym. I became a gym leader so that I, may, I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Yes and yes. And I'll show you how to win, too. <laughs> Leader Roxanne would like to battle. She sends out a Geodude, of course. Typical of Rock-type gym leaders to use this trash. I'm sure given to the right hands... This is an absolute weapon of destruction. But Styx is going to look at that as no problem and move on with its life. Alright, next up we have, you guessed it, Geodude. And of course, with another four times weakness, it's going to go down no problem. But here's the real testament. We got another Geo. Oh no, it's a nose pass. And I'm sure it's going to be her highest level Pokemon here. Oh, and it is level 15. Let's go ahead and see how much Absorb dubbed. Let's see how much Absorb does to this thing. Oh, not even half. So pure rock type and very defensive. Rock Tomb's going to be slowing us down, but doesn't do much in return. So we're pretty much good there. We can absorb our to our heart's content. Oh, and it looks like it's going to be a three hit KO after all. Rock two misses. Oh, but it's eating an orange berry. So we got two more hits at least. Down. 
Down goes the HP bar, but not quite out of the woods yet. Rock Tomb goes ahead and hits us again. Slows down our speed for a second time. And then, oh, she's healing. She's healing. She's cheating. All right, so Nose Pass goes ahead and gets the benefit of that potion. But so do we. Getting some health back thanks to Absorb. We're going to go ahead and use it two more times to finish this thing off. Unless she decides to go for another potion. But I highly doubt it. So we will see exactly what happens right now. We are three times slower than we used to be. We get... Oh, another potion. She's choosing to ruin our lives. I hate you, Dad. Basically is what she's doing. And uh, Nose Pass should go down to this next hit here. Hopefully it all depends on the roll. But Nose Pass blocks us in. But we ain't leaving. We battling. And down goes the Nose Pass. Woo. That was very exciting for our first gym. Uh, Sticks gets to level 17. So that means we're going to go ahead and let Charmander gain a few more levels. And uh, she's disappointed, but she's given us the gym badge. Joe received the stone badge from Roxanne. The stone badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the H move, ugh, the HM move, cut outside of battle. Please take this with you, TM39, which is Rock Rock Tomb, and I will definitely be teaching that to a Pokemon here in a little bit. But we got our first badge, and it's going to initiate some story here. All right, so we already battled most of these guys. He's just going to tell us, uh, please get the Devon's good back. But we shouldn't have to. He shouldn't have lost it. Oops, went too far there. But um, we got to save this old man's Pico. Not Pico de Gallo, just that's the name of his bird. All right, I should have put Charmander up front for this, but we're good. And that was the only Pokemon he had, so kind of worthless on his part to steal a Pokemon and only have one Pokemon to protect him. But... As you can see, Mr. Brian is happy about Pico. He's going to give us rides on his ship whenever we want. And now we're going to go ahead and make our way back to Rustboro City next time on the stream. Sorry, guys. I was trying to go all the way to 9 o'clock, but like I said, I've had a very long day. Been up since about 4.30. And uh, 8.30 at night already. So I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for this stream. But successful it has been. Without a doubt. Let's go ahead and look over our team real quick. See where we're going to leave off here. Um, obviously, I'm going to be using Zigzagoon as my HM slave. Uh, we might get T-Swizzle some levels. Uh, might not. I don't want two flying types. But, you know, Swallow is a powerhouse Pokemon. And depending on its ability, it gets... Oh, Guts. Oh, we can make this work big time. And it's Brave Nature. So definitely might get some levels on that thing. But Spike and Dart Worm are going to go ahead and hit the hay. Hit the box. And um, basically we'll have a team of technically four. Because again, Zigzagoon is going to be HMing everything. Alright guys. Well again, thank you all for the support. If y'all did not catch... Uh, what am I saying? If y'all did not catch the stream, then you're obviously not here. Um, go ahead check out youtube we got draft league battles past pokey dippy episodes uh spotify specifically for the pokey dippy episodes but i will be getting video of the pokey dippy episodes up soon so again lastly but not least thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time